Hi everyone, happy Monday. Welcome back to Tara's Take. Happy New Year again. Oh, so today I have a mess on my desk, but it's fun mess. <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, I have a bunch of pieces of corrugated cardboard that I've torn apart, torn down into snippets, and I got my idea from little Miss Gail. Um, I liked it so much, I thought I want to make some of those. Might as well do a mass make and do it with my girls. So here we are. I went ahead and did some um, paint and some um, some gesso, some heavy gesso on some pieces and let them dry. Now this is one I just finished just to give you an idea. Um, I think it's kind of cute, you know, just fun. It can be for a page embellishment. It could go on a journal card. It could go on a cover. It could go you know, all throughout your book, wherever you want it to go, just as decorative. It's just embellishments for snippets. This one's a little bit larger than these. Um, it would just depend. She did, you know, like journal cards. Or no, I don't think she did journal cards, but she did um, journal cover toppers. If any of you watch, you know, she just did that. Um, and I just liked it. I thought it was fun. And I actually, even though I've done so many things with junk journaling, I haven't done a lot with corrugated cardboard and I always like it and I just haven't done it. So I thought I'm going to do it. <laughs> it's a good way to start the year with a project I've never tried before, right? I thought that was a cool way to start the year. So we're going to go for it. I've got some fussy, I've got a bunch of fussy cuts around me and I have some pages that I can fussy cut from. Um, yeah, I've got a ton of stuff. I've got my little people over here. I've got my words that I love to use. Like um, like this one, I don't know if you noticed, it says be still. So she's sitting there with the flowers over her on a, on a cardboard box. I just made a little stairwell with the cardboard boxes, you know, little, little uh, Tim Holtz cuts and put be still. So yeah, I like that one. And let's see here, I've got some, okay, so what you're gonna need is some cardboard, you're gonna need your fussy cuts, you're gonna need paints, gesso, markers, whatever you wanna use to, to kinda give yourself a little backdrop if you want it. You could just use ink and distress the cardboard, no biggie, or leave it alone and don't distress it, it's totally up to you. Whatever suits you and whatever looks good to your eyeballs. Um, I just was playing, now the way I did this, and I'm gonna show you on one, um, is I used my watercolor powders. You could use regular watercolor. And I used it over gesso. And then on some of them I used it with like, let's see, I did on this one I did just wax uh, paint. Um, this one is from the gesso we mixed with the gold. And then uh, I added some blue watercolor on it and just kind of got that blue gold um, grungy look, you know, I just like them because they're grungy. I think that's fun and it's not going to be showing. It's just going to be hinted at in the backdrop. So yeah, this one's another one with the, um, we had done the gesso mixed or no, the, the clear wax, I think mixed with the, um, micro, my, mica powder. Yeah. So just how, whatever you want to do. I was just playing with throwing some colors on there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab some cardboard, and I've already torn this down uh, off of the, I, what you do is you just get in there if you've never done this before, and you pull off, let me grab a piece real quick here, so I can just kind of show anybody, just in case there's somebody out there who hasn't done this, and or seen it done, and there's, there's a lot more videos about it, not just mine of course, but I just have a regular Amazon box and I am just gonna, you can, I'm gonna cut this down so I can handle it a little bit better. Okay, you wanna work with, um, it, I mean you can use stuff that has writing on it because you're gonna tear it if you tear it off. But you wanna use as little, you know, things with as little writing as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and tear this. And then you just wanna get it, let's see, I'm gonna use this side, because it looks, let's see which side pulls for me. Yeah, I thought so. So you just pull off that top layer, okay? And you can even leave some of it on there if you want for just to have that effect. You know, just the interest, that little bit of, you know, can't think of the word. <laughs> I'm like, you know, and I can't think. It's okay. 
I just had, um, we had our New Year's Day lunch. I made, uh, it was our first day on our plan. And I told you, we're not really doing any type of, we're not doing a bunch of um, New Year's resolutions or anything. We just decided that we're going to, you know, try to eat healthier, get away from the sugar again, get back away from the sugar. That's the big one for me and the amount of food for me. That's, I tend to, you know, eat too much when I'm sitting there eating. I may not eat that often, but I, I do tend to eat too much at once. And so that's the big one for me with 40. Kind of the same thing. Um, yeah, sugar and stuff. And we're just hoping for a healthier lifestyle. So we had lunch and I had I made um, fajita salad. It was delicious. And um, But I'm a little tired because I just ate. <laughs> so... So I'm just tearing this down so it's like the size, kind of the size of a snippet, you know. And like I said, if you want to leave that on there, leave some of it on there, you're more than welcome to. You can go in and tear it off however you want to do it. I'm going to go ahead and distress this first because I am distressing these, but I didn't distress the others before I started. And I wish I had it because it's a little easier. And I'm just going to do this one for an example, and then I'm going to decorate these because... Um, this was, well, maybe I'll do a couple so that you know what I did. I just wanted you to see kind of what was done. And all of this covering with distress, you don't need to do. You don't have to do it. it like I said, totally up to you. I just wanted to have some fun making some snippets for in my journals. And I wanted them to be grungy, as you'll, you'll see with my work here in the next month or so it's going to be a little more no holiday stuff no theme just fun i've just been having some fun creating i've been creating a lot of different uh, ephemera you know just playing seriously so all i did was i grabbed my gesso and i have my little what i have here is a blick art material card i also use my credit cards i cut them down and i just kind of ran randomly ran this over Okay, and got a little bit of texture, you know, going there. And that, that's all I did for any of these. Okay. And get me in. And then if you have your, your, you have a wet towel or whatever, make sure you wipe off your card so it don't dry there. And then here's the fun and easy part. And you can use regular watercolors. You could use um, acrylic inks, alcohol ink. You can even use the Distress, like the sprays, or just make your own by putting it on the on the mat and spraying it with water and, you know, all that good stuff. So, this is super simple. I'm just looking really quick to see what I want to use. Um... You know, the only color I didn't, I didn't use orange and red, and I think that's because I have been working <laughs> so much, but I'll do a red one too. I've been working so much between fall with the orange and then red with the Christmas that I'm kind of, yeah, I'm, I'm a little done in on those colors. Now, all I'm going to do is take my spray bottle and just spray it and let that color kind of you know, move around a little bit, okay, and then let that dry, and that's going to be a backdrop for a snippet. As you can see, super, super easy. Yeah, I was watching Gail, and she was doing them, and I was like, huh, that would be something fun to do today, and I knew I needed, because it is Sunday, it's the day before our mass make I'm recording. Uh, so this is New Year's Day, and I uh, thought, you know, I'm going to wait. I actually waited on purpose to do my video on the day of New Year's because I wanted it to be as close to the day as possible. So when I was telling you, you know, about our New Year's, it would be current, <laughs> not like, you know, three days ago. Um, so, or be before it had actually happened, which usually happens. So I was so boring last night. How boring were you, Tara? Well, I was so boring. I fell asleep 
about 10 o'clock and didn't wake up again until 2.45. And that's when we told each other, Happy New Year. I'm <laughs> like, so boring. But praise God, you know, I, 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 I needed some sleep. I, you know how early I go to bed, you guys. So for me, that was like really late. So I'm going to show you. I just used the same, but I think this time I'm going to try to use a cloth. See what happens. I used the Bic Blick card the last time. This is the wax acrylic paint, and I just wanted to see if, yeah, it's about the same. I just wanted to kind of give it a backdrop. And then I have this other one. They're totally bland looking, this color is. This is vintage, okay? And it's the brand um, Hello Hobby you get from Walmart. Wax paint, a wax acrylic. This one is olive oil. Yeah, olive oil, acrylic paint. Um, boring, very boring, but neutral. Extremely, extremely neutral. So if you really dig neutral, there you go. Like I said, this is just going to be a backdrop. It's not, you know what I'm saying? So it doesn't have to look, oh, beautiful artwork, you know? It's just definitely going to be for fun. Now, let's decorate. I want to play. So I am going to use, I've got so much stuff here, you guys. It's insane. I got all those small things from Miss Tina's kits, and then I have... A bunch of these different printouts I did. Oh, you guys, it's funny. I I realized the other day, I thought, you know, I could have sworn that I had some, um, let's see, what do I like on here? I was telling myself I could have sworn I had some different uh, fussy cuts, and I realized I don't think I ever cut them out. So I went and I got into my cabinet yesterday, my, my, um, file cabinet and they were in a folder and there was this thick it's like this thick of fussy cuts that I didn't do and do you know why I didn't do them because I had printed them out right before my Flagstaff trip in October at like mid-October and I never got around to cutting them simply because of autumn and Christmas okay so I had I have pages pages. I sat this morning and I cut out, I think, about eight pages of Lena's strips that I love so much. And I have them here. Oh, I just stuck my finger in that, Jess. So I'm going to sit these away from me. Otherwise, they're in danger of being destroyed. Let me put them over here. Anyway, I have a whole bag here. What do I do with them? Here they are. Of Lena's I cut and I cut and I cut and these are those little strips they come in all kinds of sizes I just love them um, and they're just beautiful they're so pretty and so I was thinking these would be something fun to add to um, these pieces let's see these little guys are cute let me use this one so yeah that's what I was doing and watching movies. Cordy and I were watching, um, what did we watch? We didn't watch, well, we actually, we started our day with church. So he slept in, which he does not ever do, but he slept in today. So he woke up at like around, um, gosh, 9.30, 9.30. Yeah, totally late for him. And uh, I teased him when he came out. I go, good afternoon. <laughs> He's like, hey. <laughs> so he was tired too. But I actually slept for eight hours and um, got up at like 5.45, which for me, of course, is super late. <clears throat> and I was so blessed and so happy to see so many responses about our devotion time. Praise God. I really, really, really wanted, you know, everyone to just relax enjoy a few moments in the word together and i i didn't necessarily want it to be um take you know to be a part of our crafting experience 
um, I wanted it to be for those of us who really, you know, want to participate and want to be a part of God's Word. And so, yeah, I just wanted it to be a separate thing that we do together. And this is my crafting and, and make that, you know, make that our our separate time to just be with Jesus and and be quiet, you know, before the Lord. And, uh, yeah, so thank you so much for commenting and saying that you enjoyed it or that it blessed you. Um, yeah, it's going to, I'm going to try to do that every day. So it all, all this year. Um, that's my, that's my goal. So just so you know, so that I can spend time with my girls and just relax for a few moments, uh, and with the, with the Lord and give him some time before we get into our crafting and get into our fun, you know? So there's that one. Now I'm thinking this one needs a little bling on the butterfly. I love, I love, love, love bling on the butterfly. Okay, and I, I'm not sure if I still have any pink left. Oh, I do, good. Here's one ready. Hopefully I won't drop it. So yeah. But thank you. And so anyway, um, he got up and we just jumped in and we watched our church service. We were a little bit late. We missed the praise and worship. Um, we watch it online. And I don't know if I ever told you guys, we did choose a church um, that we do want to start attending in person this year. And it's, it's out of uh, Casa Grande. So yeah, we're excited about that. I'm looking here for, where is my other little glue bottle? I haven't been using it this morning. I've been using other glue and I, I need it. Where'd you go? There it is. Hopefully this one will be, let me open it. Um, yeah. And so we watched that service and it was so good. And, and, uh, you know, talking about, he was really focused on talking about participation in church, participation in the new year, participation with your pastor, understanding, you know, your, your pastor better and, and, and not putting your pastor in the position of being Jesus for you, you know, and, and what it means to serve in a church. And, and just, uh, it was just really, really a good word. He gave the best analogy, you guys. He was talking about, um, how, you know, he was using himself as an example. Ooh, looky, isn't that cute? See, I like these. These are just fun. I saw Gail doing them. I'm like, they're so cute. Um, but he gave this really good analogy about the fact that, you know, when we, he said, I don't have a drug addict's background. I don't have, you know, some horrible background where I sinned in obvious ways and made terrible choices and it affected my life horribly. He said, but, the, you know, he said, the Lord made me aware, though, that my sins were just as detrimental to the people around me. My, what we call small sins. You know, my mom used to have a saying, God doesn't rate sin, man does. To God, sin is sin. If you've broke one, you've broke them all. And, you know, of the, of the law. And, and it's true. And so, yeah, so we were, we were talking about, or he was talking about the fact that the Lord showed him he's a fisherman. And he said, I was, I was thinking one day and the Lord said, you know, you're, little sins have a ripple effect, just like the big sins do. Um, he said, just because you haven't fallen into drug addiction and destroyed your family or, you know, whatever. And he said, I saw, and I want to say this right. He saw it like when he's on his boat at the lake and he's fishing or when he's out in the ocean fishing. And he said, you go out, you're on the boat, you're doing your thing. And all of a sudden, all these waves come at you. And it's called, I think he said it's called sea confusion, where you can't get your bearings because all these different wakes are hitting you from all these different boats, like when you're in a lake, you know. And he said, you look around and you realize everybody else's choices are impacting your ability to guide your vessel. And if you look at it like that, all of your choices in as far as like sin goes are impacting they have a ripple effect and oh he gave some amazing like he said what about the sin of impatience like you're driving down the road and you're impatient to get home from work and or to get you know to get somewhere and you 
inadvertently, angrily hit the person in front of you. And it causes a jam, a backup. And your anger and your, your impatience has caused an, an accident. He said, what about all those people who are stuck in, in that traffic behind you? What about the man who's been told, if you're late one more time, you're going to lose your job? And he does lose his job because he's late. And then when he goes home, his wife says, this was my last straw. I can't do it anymore. And she leaves him. And then he commits suicide. He goes, is that, did, did your sin, did your choice to get angry and violent and cause a car accident, did that impact that man's life? Did your choice impact? I mean, it was really, really thought provoking to me because I'm like, you know, we know the ripple effect. I'm a lot of Christian, a lot of us are Christians that I'm talking to and we know what he means. But when you think of it to that extent, I mean, you know, and he said, it's funny because you may look up in your life, you may look around you and you realize you're getting hit by all these waves, all these ripple effects of other people. He said, yeah. And then you realize your ripple effects when you really look at it are affecting others as well so we've got this world full of people making good bad and ugly choices and we we need to keep in mind that even if our choice or our sin does not impact somebody like that we know directly it may impact somebody we don't even know that we've never even met i mean so there's just a lot we need to think about when we make the choices in our life that we make it was good, you guys. I mean, I was like, whoa, that is really true. Really, really true. Um, yeah, so that was our lesson from church. And then we, after that, oh, he's cute. Um, after that, we watched um, Pastor Rick Warren, and he was teaching, oh, I like her on there. He was teaching a lesson, and I had been watching it the other day, and I told Cordy I had to Stop watching it because I wanted to see it with him because it impacted me so strongly and I was like oh my honey's got to see this um, and it was about it's called 10 10 self-destructive behaviors and uh, something like that 10 self-destructive destructive behaviors um, and he was teaching oh I like this one and he was teaching on the fact that we as Christians, you know, um, there's this whole, I mean, my goodness, you guys, I can't explain the whole thing, but he gave all these different destructive behaviors that we walk in as human beings and how God has redeemed us. And, you know, he also talked about the six things that we can do as Christians to not walk in those behaviors anymore. And by trusting the Lord, you know, and it was intense. And I can be so self-destructive. I don't know. Anybody? Anybody? Show hands on this one. Seriously. I want comments. I want to know. Are, am I alone here? Or are you guys... Do you guys feel that way about yourself? I'm, I'm being serious. And I'm being totally real. I can be so self-destructive. And I think most of us can be if we really are honest with ourselves. I am just... <sighs> I struggle to be good to myself. And he was preaching out of Romans 7 and 8. So we all know, if you if you know the Word of God, that is some of the greatest teaching about self-destruction and sin and the effects of it. Um, I'm going to put something behind her so it looks like she's leaning on it. So yeah, and so that was his, his teaching on that. And it was phenomenal so Cordy watched that with me praise the Lord I was so glad he watched it with me because you know we both come from a pretty um, questionable past you know different levels I guess but but both of us come from a lot of pain a lot of suffering and a lot of it was self-inflicted and um, you know God brought us together I've told you guys part you know most of the story I think I've told you and how the Lord you know, brought us together and has used us as catalysts to, to really heal each other. Like God has used him to heal me and to make me a better person and to keep me on my toes about things that I would normally just blow off or I wouldn't consider important or whatever. Cordy gives me that, you know, he gives me in our relationship, he is a catalyst for my growth and iron sharpens iron, right guys? And it's true in our case. 
So yeah, I'm I was super excited that he watched it. So if you guys, I I, I might try to remember if I can to actually link it in the video because it's an amazing teaching and it, it's worth watching. It's worth watching. But that was my morning. And then I got up and I made our wonderful Mexican lunch. We had the fajita salad and then I had uh, chips with salsa and I made homemade guacamole. Yummy, yummy. So love my Mexican food and I wanted to do it in such a way that it would be you know, respecting our decision to be healthier this year. So we ate salad. So most of it, what I did was I used a skirt steak and, um, I just took that steak and really, uh, seasoned it up with some carne asada seasonings and garlic. And I, um, sauteed onion and, uh, red bell pepper in there. And I hope this looks okay. I am totally just crafting. I'm not, I know this is a different thing that I do usually for our, our New Year's, but I wanted it to be a little bit different today because it's New Year's. And I thought, well, let's do something fun. Let's just get dirty. Let's have some fun, play with some stuff. I have no idea if this is going to look good. I was just thinking I, I would like to have something kind of as a backdrop or something here, maybe something lacy behind her and so yeah um that was my day and then after that we were watching during our lunch we were watching um the old 89 1989 movie with john cusick um or cusack however you say it and uh, something say anything just a little high school you know movie oh i think that's kind of cute i'm gonna put that on the back yeah so that was our that was our um time today and then my honey went and laid down and he's reading his bible and here i am with my girls so ah i put it on the wrong side tara <laughs> it's okay it's no biggie we're gonna have this little thing glued down anyway so it's really not gonna matter right we'll just do it like that we'll do a little something, something like that and then we're gonna it's, it's just weird because I'm doing it like behind. I'm squeezing it, you know, squishing it like I do on the edge. But I'm doing it from the back, so it, it's kind of harder. <laughs> like I needed it to be harder. I have a hard time doing this when it's from the front. I just want a little bit more of the, um, you know, ruffled effect on it. Oh, come on. Stop it. See what I mean? There we go. That's what better. Just behind her, giving a little, little extra. I'm just decorating all over the place. Man, Tina did her flower video this morning. I want to make those flowers. I, I'm not probably going to make the bow thing in the back of them, but I want to make some of those cloth flowers. I've made them with her before, and it's been a minute, and mine are, mine are gone. And um, well, I think I have a couple left, but they're not. They don't really match anything I want to do right now because I did it. That video was the one I did with her when I first, first, first discovered her. I think I might try to see if going down the side, this might look good too. I don't know. Let's see. And so, um, yeah, I, I had, uh, just started doing junk journaling and I really didn't know my own tastes yet, you know, like on cloth and fabric and stuff like that. And so the couple that I have left, I don't think I'll probably even use. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just looking here to see if, no, I don't think that'll look good. So anyway, there's that one. I feel like it's missing something. What is it missing? God, do it. let me see. I'm really feeling the bling in the new year. <laughs> I like my bling. And especially because it is, um, this is kind of drab in a way. It's not as bright and shiny and, you know, I'll go ahead and do a little more gold here and see if that helps more than, I don't want to add too much, um, I don't want to add too much diamante and find out it doesn't really look that great. So let me, let me try something here. Anyway. 
I hope you guys like these. I just thought it would look like fun. I don't know. Gail was playing and I'm like, man, I want to get dirty and just play with some stuff like that. That was really <laughs> what drew me was just her getting grungy and, you know, it all kind of helped. Maybe if I just do, let's see. I could. Wait, 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 wait. No, way too big. Whoa. Let's, um, mm -mm. how about a bow? How about a pretty bow? I'm not digging the, the, what you call it with this one? The dots, what do you call it? Polka dots. But I do have some that don't have polka dots. Let me pull one of those out and see. I love the bows. I do think they're so cute. And you don't see me use them too often, but that one looks kind of cool because it's got that blue and that green in the background. Maybe that one. Do I have I think I have smaller ones than that. Wait. They're just very, because I put all the polka dot ones that I just cut. <clears throat> I think I do. Oh, wait, here's a little green one. That might look good. The reason I wanted to put a bow was to kind of pretty it up, and then also then I could put the diamante on that, and it would kind of, yeah, I'm going to put that one. I'm just going to go for it. These are for fun. These are just to add as an embellishment to my pages, you know, that kind of thing. So I'm just going to lightly distress very carefully this little guy is so tiny so tell me in the comments below what did you guys do for new year's did anybody do anything more exciting than sleep like me <laughs> i'm proud of it i don't mind i'm good i'm serious it's okay with me if i slept actually i was telling cordy wake me up at midnight you know because he took one of his long naps yesterday and i said just wake me up at midnight so i can kiss you new year's and he goes honey no, I'm not waking you up. You don't get enough sleep as it is. And I said, all right. I said, well, if I wake up, I wake up. And I didn't till 2.45. And then I slept in until 5.45 after that wake up, which was wonderful. Because that got me just shy of eight hours of sleep. I mean, like, minute within minutes. So I was thanking the Lord for letting me bring in the new year with some rest. Because... I have those nights. You Well, you guys know. There's times when I get on here and I'm like, I've only had four hours sleep. <laughs> there we go. So, as a new year, uh, I haven't said it in the new year, I want to say I love you guys and thank you for being in my life. Oh, see, that's what I needed. I needed a little shine. Just a little. There, I like that one now. Should we put a word or something fun? We should put something, right? But yeah, I just wanted to say I love you guys. Thank you so much for being a part of my life every day, for commenting and for including me in what you're doing or, you know, where you're going. There are those of you who just comment to say good morning. This is what my, my day is going to look like. And have, and, you know, and then have a good day and, and you're gone and that's okay because I know you were just, you came on long enough to, you watched my video, you said good morning, you thanked me or you said you love me and, you know, told me what you were going to do that day just to make me a part of your day to let me know that I'm your friend and I love you. Thank you for that. I mean it. There are those of you who do that all the time and you know who you are, so... I am I'm so grateful. And if anybody else ever wants to, you know, say anything to me or just include me, please, please do. Because I love you. And I'm, it makes me happy to know that I'm not just on here, you know, talking to myself. But that I'm talking to you. There we go. Now, yeah, see, it's all in the collage, you guys. It's all in the layering. So we have that one. What time is it? Let's see. How long did that take me? Oh, good. We still have time. I'm going to move this and make 
this cleaner by putting a new piece of book page because that one looks so ugly. There. So that you guys don't have to stare at the ugly, you can look at the pretty. Well, not pretty, but at least clean. <laughs> anyway, what color? What color should we? Hmm. I kind of want to do this brown and black. This is a black gesso with the brown wax paint. And you can kind of see it's the wax because it's shiny, the paint. If we rub on this, it probably... Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's not. It's just making this stuff come off on it. <laughs> never mind. Oh, I have these grungy words I did. I should use those on here, huh? <laughs> oh, I haven't used these in a minute. Do you know how much I miss all of my little stuff I haven't been playing with for so long? Because I've been doing so much holiday stuff that, um, yeah, I am so excited to just be, um, you know, just working with whatever again. It, it really is making me thrilled <laughs> to be honest now because this I'm gonna kind of make this a little focal point I think and I'll build something around it for fun I probably should have tapped that with the before I stuck that glue on there huh guys oh well I guess it's okay it's okay we're just going to put that in the center, and then I think what I'd like to do, and I'm just using my hot glue on these. I think it's sticking really well. Yeah, it's sticking really good. So, oh, I have some of these little guys. I love these Tim Holtz little um, squares. They're just so random, little pieces, and they're very cool looking. If you haven't gotten any of these, you should get some. They're fun. They are fun. I'm wondering if... Oh, my nose is just... Sorry. <laughs> I'm just going to kind of layer a little bit. Okay, if you heard that noise, that is my dog. She went and got a drink. And she... Me and Cordy always tease her because she's like... Every time she gets a drink of water or she gets too excited, she starts going... <laughs> And then she coughs, and then she has to go <laughs> and clear it. She sounds like an old. She sounds like an old man. <laughs> We're like, calm down, <laughs> to be calm down. <laughs> so if you heard that, that was Tippy. She's putting in her little two cents, saying a little something, something to everybody. Okay. Oh, I met this lady at the store yesterday, you guys. Her name is Reese. Um, oh my goodness, I can't, and I can't check it because it's on my phone, but she has an Instagram and she runs a ballroom dancing, um, place. And she also teaches at a school, a elementary school, but she does ballroom dancing. She's worked for Arthur Murray and all this different stuff. And her and her family just kind of got priced out of the housing, you know, in the Valley. So she moved out here to Coolidge and I ran into her yesterday at the Walmart and we got to chit chatting. You know, I don't know if you know this about me, but I can talk really good when I meet someone that I connect with. And so her and I connected over the price of eggs and we were both very irritated about it. Turns out she is a woman of God. She is a dance teacher. She's a mama. She's younger than me, you know, but just a really nice lady. So I made a new friend. Yay. And just in case she watches, hi Reese. Um, <laughs> she was very, very cool. I liked her a lot. So that was fun. Let me see here. I've got these little guys. We got some little boots. Would those look cute with this? Only if I can find the right lady to go with it. Because this kind of looks... Is that a little too random? I think that's a little too random, right? Oh, wait. What about these guys? I don't know. She doesn't have any tan balloons. Only... I think they're only purple, light blue, and dark blue. Let me see here. Real quick. Yep. Only purple. We have crowns. Yep, we have we have purple and blue. Let's see. That would be kind of cute. Let's see here. 
I am just making random stuff, you guys. You know how snippets are. And uh, I'm sure, I hope Miss Sonia likes this video. She loves to do snippets. I know she loves to do snippet rolls. Let me know if you like this one too, sweetie. There's that. I'm not done. I'm just going to keep piling on this stuff because it's fun. I think that boot kind of looks cute right there next to the butterfly. And then if we stuck, let's see. Oh yeah. Let's cut this down and see if I can, I'm going to fit it on here somehow. We're going to do journey of a lifetime. And with the balloon, doesn't that look cool? That'll be perfect. Perfecto. Let's see, we could put journey of Where's the A? Journey of I thought it said journey of a lifetime. <laughs> Where's this why doesn't it have the A? This is the one I just cut it off of, right? Okay. That's weird. Journey of Lifetime. I don't get it. Seriously, you guys. Did I drop? I could swear that it says journey of a, of a lifetime. Okay, that's bizarre. I'm looking to see if I have another one in here. I'm pretty sure I do. I just got to kind of find it here. And if I can't find it quick enough, I'm not going to make you stay. But that's kind of freaking me out because I... I'm pretty sure, yeah, journey of a lifetime, but I didn't, did I chop it off somewhere? You guys probably saw me chop it off and I didn't realize I did it. There, okay. I'm going to do it. We're going to get this on here. I probably, knowing me, I cut it again and went like that or something, didn't I? I bet I did. After the video, I'm going to find an A floating around on my desk. That's funny. I was thinking, should I have it in cursive on this part and then down here in in uh, print? Would that look okay? It's raining here, you guys. It is raining again. So, yeah. We've been getting that weather coming from back east. Still, and Cordy, um, he's working tomorrow. He wasn't supposed to. I think I mentioned to you guys that his boss had like just given him days off randomly, you know, to save money for himself. Um, poor old guy. And he uh, he had not uh, scheduled Cordy to work, you know. And so yesterday he contacted him and he's like, "It looks like it's going to rain on Tuesday. Can you guys work on Monday instead?" So. Um, hopefully it'll not rain and make it so he can't work. Believe it or I mean, I've mentioned it before. Cordy loves his work and he loves to work. He really, really appreciates the blessing of labor and doing something, you know, it's a very important part of his life is working. He's such an amazing guy. I was so so abundantly blessed by the Lord when he introduced me to Courtney. Yeah. There we go. Oh, and I think I'm going to start telling you guys on, well, since I know what our something challenge is for tomorrow, normally I wait and announce it on Monday morning. Should I just wait? Courtney's already drawn our announcement. If you watch the video, you'll know, and then I'll announce it on, since I'm doing the video on Sunday, I know what it is, because we always do the drawing on Sunday. So our something challenge for tomorrow, or for this coming week, is something black and white. I'll give you, I'll show you guys, this is what I drew, I wrote them on, and he just draws them out of that bowl. So something black and white. Can you guys see that? There you go. That's your challenge. So, have at it, babies. I hope uh, we have some good ones. I know last week I did not do mine. I'm so sorry. But this week I did finally get it up today. 
So yeah, so here's another one, you guys. Isn't that cute? I think that's kind of fun, right? Just, just collaging away and just having a good time, you know? Not really thinking about... Oh, wait, I did forget the boot. I really kind of wanted the boot on there. Um, it implies that the per person on the journey is a woman. That was my implication here. Should I put it right there? Yeah, I'm going to put it right there. <laughs> That's my implication here. It's a woman. Because these are definitely a woman's boots. There we go. Aw, I think that's cute. Okay, so there is our little, our little collage. Oops, way too much glue. All right, there. So there's that. And it's got its little brown distress around the edges. Now let's pick another one, pick another one. Let me see. What have I done? I've done a brown one and the black, and then I did the greenish and the, the blue with the green, and then I did the green. And then the first, oh, and then this one we did was just the white. So, um, and I think I'm gonna do this blue and gold. I think this one's pretty cool. Let's try that. What do you think? Think so? I think so. Now, I think these boots go really good with this blue. So I might use that again. Still haven't run across the A that I know I had to have cut off because I'm certain it was there. <laughs> I'm certain it was. It's probably on my lap or something. Okay, let me see. What do we want to start with? Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm looking here to see what I have cut out. I've got, it's really not the right blue. Or shall we use some of these? These are such pretty color schemes, all of them. Look at that. That paper, I had one of you comment that your printer is old and it won't print vibrant, you know? And I'm not contradicting you, but if you haven't tried, I, I mentioned it in the comments back to you. I don't know if you saw it or not. But if you haven't tried using the photo, because this is, is the same printer, my old printer, that was old, my um, Epson. If you haven't tried the matte paper compared to the regular cardstock, look at the difference. Same, same picture, same pictures. You can just see the vibrancy of the colors it's like the colors sit more on top of your paper or something. I don't know how to explain it. But they're just so much more vibrant. Now there's some smaller ones here. This is, hmm. I'm just looking to see if any of these kind of match. Nope. This one might go on there. Or maybe I'll just do something that's neutral and let the, you know, on the on the main part. Yeah. I need it to be small. I mean, I guess I, if I wanted to, though, I could turn this horizontal like this. But I kind of like the way it looks up. And I mean, with the lines going horizontal, I kind of like that. That's the reason I've been running them the way I have. It's because I prefer that. Yeah. So there we go. Yep, I am excited to, um, I'm so excited to be doing the devotions with you guys. I know I'm going back to what I was talking about before, but I really, really am. And if you haven't seen the devotion and you'd like to participate, it's a, just a short video here on my channel. They're going to be every day it's going to be between five and ten minutes um nothing overwhelming just a passage of scripture um and then i'm gonna you know read the reading and then talk about what it says and what it means to me and i would love it if you guys would share what it means to you um yeah and just spend that time together just hanging out and not crafting. I don't know. I thought it kind of felt more like we were hanging out together, you know, and having a cup of coffee and just relaxing together. 
No, those two little girls don't quite look right. I'm going to have a drink of my coffee now that I said that. It's gotten a little bit lukewarm. That's okay. I only ate my, or drank my coffee hot for about, oh my goodness, I don't know. Well, until about a year, two, three years ago, I always drank hot, my coffee cold. I barely started drinking it hot. I'm looking here for a lady that would kind of match. She's cute, but what could she be leaning on? I, I kind of want... I was thinking if I could make the tea house show, but I need something for her to lean on. Let's see. <laughs> I don't really, I mean, I could do a little bit of this bit behind her like I do. kind of build her a platform, you know. Oh, come on. My fingers are gluey. I'm having a hard time. I just like the time that she's from, the, the generation she's from. Matches my boot. <laughs> that's, that's the only reason I'm thinking of using her. That's how, yeah, I'm, I get something caught in my head and I get stuck on it, you know what I mean? Does, do you guys do that? And then you're like, oh, I guess I could use something else if I wanted to. Oh, she is so pretty. She's too pretty for one of these. Um, there's that lady again I just had out. Uh, let's see. I guess I don't have to do the boot. I could just do two cute little flapper girls. What do I have back here? Let's see. Unique. That one's kind of cute. Uh, reflect. Curiosity. Quietness. Now, flapper girls would definitely not go with quietness. <laughs> I think music is probably the best one that I have right now offhand. Okay. So if you guys try these out, let me know. And like I said, I will try, I'll, I don't know if I said it or not, I'm thinking it. I will link Gail's video in the description and if Miss Gail ever happens to see this thank you so much for the inspiration to just build some fun little grungy snippets with my cardboard I love it let's see it was a bomb idea and it was fun I might use the other part of this blue to go with these girls let's see Yeah, I think I will. I've had this piece floating around on my desk for months, and I'm not exaggerating. It's literally been just floating around on my desk for months and months. And I love this trim, and I didn't want to get rid of it, so I just kept moving it out of my way. Um, yeah, so I was thinking if I had, let me look here really quick, guys. Maybe some, maybe a little black lace or something to put behind them. Oh, that's my small lace. Oh, I don't know where I put my larger black lace. Where is it? Wait, I think I have a piece right here. This is from yesterday. Well, I was, you haven't seen it yet, the video. I did a video where we do some, uh, some, uh, not snippets. 
Well, kind of snippets. The, the video is going to be called Buttons and Lace. And it is working with these. Um, I'll give you a sneak peek here. Making stuff like this. Okay. So, just fun stuff. Music. And then that blue is just going to kind of shine through. I'm going to soften these edges just a touch. I told you the other day, I don't, oh no, actually I told you in tomorrow's video, I think that I like to soften my edges just a little bit on my lace. Yeah. Okay. One more. There we go. Okay. So I am going to lay this here and then, wait, put it on the right side. Oh, this is the right side. Okay. And then I'm just going to put some glue. And then just like <coughs> Tina always says, you know, tippy, shh. Just like Tina always says, this going through will just seal down your, your lace, you know, and hold it in place. There we go. Okay. And then over here in this corner, I'm going to go ahead and glue gun got stuck. Sorry. I'm going to go ahead and put the word music right here. Okay. Stay down. Stay down. And then just for a wee bit of fun. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to use the gold again. What did I do with the gold? I had it. Here it is. I think only because of the gold edges on this uh, trim. And I am just going to put a little bit of sparkly in the corner for our girls to stand out. Yeah, I hope you guys make some of these. Like I said, you don't have to use the gesso and the paint and all of that stuff. Um, I did it because she had used gesso on hers and I, I kind of liked just the um, that little layer on the back. I thought it looked cute and that's why I did it. But it's not necessary. And so, uh, yeah. There's that one. What time is it? Just to check. So we've hit our hour. I hope you guys enjoyed today. There's that one. Little girls music. And you can see the blue and the gold through it. And then we did this one here. Got a little joy going on. And then that's the one I did prior to being on camera. Be still. And we did this one. Okay. And we did this one. So praise God, I think they're really cute. And I'm going to use these in my journal. I love you guys. I'm so glad we're in a new year together and that I know you and we're starting this year together. I think that's um, pretty cool to be starting out a new year with knowing one another and, you know, having that fellowship with one another. I really, really look forward to all of the things we're going to create this year and, you know, all of our times we spend together with the Lord. And as our, our friend Sagita, Sagita said, um, we're going to make this year legendary. I love that. I loved that you said that, Sagita, and I agree. Let's make this a legendary year. I love you all. Have some fun today crafting if you can. And I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.